Hey guys, it's Kevin from today's Technical Connect, and today we're going to go over a little error message that you might have if you're transferring big files to a USB. And you get this message right here. Yeah. What we're going to do is show you a workaround how to get past that. So here we go. Okay guys, so here's the scenario. I have a USB here, and the total capacity is 32 gigs. Although, you know, it shows, only shows 28.8. But it's 32 gig, and I have a file in here that's 1.1 gigs. It's very important. I don't want to lose it. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to copy over another ISO file that's around 4 gigs. So this is what happens when I try to send over a 4.2 gig file to a 32 gig f a USB hard drive. This file is too large for the destination system. 4.7 gigs. Now I have at least 27 gigs free on this, but this is the message that I get. Have you ran into this problem? And I have 27.7 gigs free. The reason for this is because FAT32 only supports a limitation of 4 gigs on an individual file. NTFS has way more of a theoretical limit. So this is the workaround. Go to command prompt and do run as administrator. You don't want to type in convert the letter of your USB drive. In my case, it's F colon space forward slash FS colon NTFS space forward slash no security. What this does is it'll convert the file system without formatting it. So you won't lose any information that you have on your current drive. Depending on the drive size, it'll take a few minutes. Once it's done, it'll say this. Conversion complete. So if we go back to the drive, as you can see, our 1.1 gig file is still here. Now what I'm gonna do is try to move that 4.2 gig file back over to my USB. And as you can see, it's allowing the file transfer. No error message, just letting it go. And that's how you do it, guys. Hope you enjoy the tip.